guys again and it's another let's play for Halo Master Chief Collection. I left you last with me backing into a corner to try and avoid Covenant. It didn't work, let me say, because I just died there. Um, I am currently at home sitting doing my let's play recording. So I will record this and then upload it hopefully. I've currently started um, the second mission and actually got further than I did the other day, so that's good. I'll go along with the gameplay now. So, basically you saw there I died, and this is how I die a lot in this first mission. A lot of, um, uh, energy grenades, no, plasma grenades, and they, I, they, they annoy me like heck. It is so annoying, but th it's, not, it's not mainly the grunts that kill me. It's mainly the elites that like bash me or shoot me like five times and then I'm dead. So, as you see here, I'm trying to keep the marines alive. Let me just say it doesn't work because it is pretty goddamn hard to keep marines alive when they're just running around shooting at random things and they're in plain sight. So, I am um, have been stuck on this mission for ages now. And I left it in the last video with me actually being stuck on this mission. I decided to go back. I don't know why. But I I, I just like gave up at one point. Just like, you know what, I'm, I'm just going to give up. Just going to hide behind here and give up. But then I decided to go back out and try and kill them. Let me just say it doesn't work. I mean, I guess I just had luck to win this. Because... I decided to go down on the ground and kill all the elites first, so then I could actually like go around without being attacked by anything. But they weren't coming downstairs, so I couldn't really, I couldn't really kill them if they weren't there, which really sucked. Even though I have a good magnum, I can only kill them if they're there. So that really annoyed me. Um, I think this might be the bit where I actually pass this mission because past this level actually because I hid and just like took them out with my magnum if they weren't coming down I was just gonna try and shoot them where, wherever I could so this is um my second gameplay hope you enjoyed the first gameplay um it, it was the sound quality near the end was awful I'm sorry about that I really don't know what happened there I, I just knew it was awful because I could hear the game more than I could hear my voice. And now I'm actually trying to make my voice heard. So you should be able to hear this one better than the last one. Because the last one was pretty quiet as well. It wasn't it wasn't consistent all the way through. I mean, I want this one to be consistent. And this is um, going to be hopefully a good, a good edit for my upload videos. So... As you probably don't know, I've been playing FIFA. I've just stuck in Division 6. That was the hardest game and tensest game I've ever played. Um, I was winning 1-0 one, one from Welbeck, because Welbeck's amazing, and OP. And then he came back because Mertzaka didn't clear it, because I pressed clear and it didn't clear it, so they just passed it back through my net. And then I came back 2-1 with uh, Nutmeg from Walcott, and then they came back with Bonnie, Boney, um, volleying it into the back of the net. So I was like, right, it's the 90th minute. I need to do something drastic to win this. It was either from it was either stay there or get relegated. I mean, I got into Division Three for crying out loud, and I'm trying to fight for my not relegation in Division Six. <laughs> yeah, see, a bit of tea bag in there just because I hated that le level so much. So I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to teabag them so they can't actually attack me anymore. This bit, I, I don't even know I did here. I was just like, you know what, I'm just going to um, go out straight away. I mean, I, I didn't even get a checkpoint. I was like, crazy, because you, I would have to do that all again if I didn't. Look, look, that's how close I was. That's how close I was to dying. He had one shot left in him, so he could have died. Anyway, I left that dramatically. Um, the FIFA, in the 90th minute, Welbeck, I put Ultra attacking on, pass it into Welbeck, and Welbeck just crosses it through um, goal. 
and it was just amazing. So I won that one. Stayed in Division 6. Great. Whoopee. Um, and I am hopefully going to get promoted and put some clips up. Because I have actually got a few clips. I don't know if I've got enough for a video yet. I, I'm not sure. I'll have to check. But this, um, this um, time I am trying to get fit Halo, FIFA, and then I'm going to try and upload another video on Tuesday with my new game that comes out, which is GTA 5. It's going to be a busy week, but i got lots of homework, so I'm going to have to do that as well. I'm going to do homework after this, so I'll like upload this, like put this for upload, then I'll do homework, and then I'll probably come back and do FIFA videos, and then I'll upload that, hopefully. I'll do a setup video, I can do that today, hopefully. Like I said, hopefully. All the times we've gone sc um, screw with um, this weekend because I went out yesterday to Bournemouth. Um, I was tired and I had an update video for the Bournemouth video that didn't actually upload because it was corrupted or something. It was really annoying. I spent an hour just trying to see out, find out what was happening, but it didn't work. So you know, oh well. I hope you enjoyed that vlog. Um, it was pretty boring. I was like, <laughs> so I'm gonna try like make my voice more sound better today. I mean, I don't know how that's possible. Like, how I can make it sound better? I just mean how I can involve you guys more. Um, I didn't actually get any um, messages about where when I should upload this, but I, I decided I'll just upload it today because I why not? Um, I uploaded the one yesterday. And then I uploaded, I'm going to upload this one today. Right. Okay. I had to pause there because that annoyed me so much getting killed by the grunt. I was like, you know what? The grunts can't kill me. It's fine. They're just cannon fodder. And what happened? I killed the both elites and then the grunts just shot me like in the face. Yeah. This is how, this is how careless I am. I'm just like, you know what? I'm just going to go out of cover try and, with no health and just try and destroy them. Which didn't work at all. Because I just did this every time. Run run into battle and die. Which was stupid. Because I was just running and gunning. And this is what happened. Look, look, look. See. I've done this about five times now. And I'm just like dying, dying, dying. I, I forget when I actually decide to do something right. Okay. That that was a good stick. I stuck the elites there. And um, I think this is when I actually do it. Because the elites get wiped out. Because I stuck them with the grenade. And that, that was I don't, that was just pot luck, and then the grunts I just can take out with my pistol. It got scary here because I didn't get to a checkpoint again, and then they just came around the corner, and then this happens. Oh, hello, elites and grunts and everything. So I decide to hide a bit because I'm going to hide for the sake of hiding, because I do not I do not want to do this. If I'm not hiding. To be quite honest. I am scared stiff. And I just want to. Oh, I don't know. Get past this mission. So this is my tactic. Hide gun. Hide gun. Hide gun. Throw grenade. Hide gun. Hide gun. That, that was stupid. I nearly died there. And I didn't even get a checkpoint. So that was stupid. Um. I still haven't played Halo 2 Mastered, uh, Remastered Edition. I really want to because it's Halo 2 Remastered Edition, but um, I just I just can't because, well, I can't because um, Halo Remastered Edition and it, Halo 2 Remastered Edition is after Halo 1, and I haven't completed Halo 1 yet, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it in chronological order. I'm not gonna do it without you guys, so you can see me. And I might have an El Gato by that time, actually. I might, you might actually be able to hear my reaction as I'm playing it, which will be pretty cool. That'll be a good thing, and hopefully it'll be before Christmas, so then I won't have to like um, do it after Christmas, because a review on this game would be pretty cool before Christmas, because that would mean like I could review it, and it could be like on one of your, your Christmas lists or something, and tell you why you should get it. I mean, I told you why you should get it in the first video. It's just amazing, and it's good money money value. Um, yeah, you should get it, but um, I'm not going to force you, because it's your choice. This is how I got so confused. I was like, you know what, I, I don't even know where I'm going. And then I saw the marker, and I was like, okay, 
guess I'm going that way. So, I remember these tunnels, because I was like, oh, am I nearly finished then? Because that last wave was, like, pretty hard from that room, and then from this. And I was like, right, I think I'm finished now. But I realised that for all of this for all of this mission, I knew these were coming. So, I knew it wouldn't be over until I have been in these at least once. So, it kind of sucked that I knew what was going to happen. And I knew it was going to drag on longer and longer. But... It's pretty cool because I still get it completed. This is um, fun because I forgot you could do this. I forgot you could just go up behind the elites, and yeah, I I did, I did that wrong. I behind the elites and the grunts and just knock them out, kill them in one hit. Because that 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 is um, what I like to call like balance. So like say yeah, watch balance, and then you get that. The grunt who had a really good arm, who then stuck me, and now I'm just pot. Oh, I'm pot shot now because I hit the grunt wrongly, and now I'm throwing grenades randomly, and now I'm gonna probably die. So be prepared for me to die again. This is um, yeah, exactly. I was stupid in that mission quite a lot. In the second mission. I'm actually not that bad. I don't die as much. I don't think I no. I die once. I think so. That's 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 all right. They know where I am now, so I, I don't know if the elite is going to be there. I can't remember. I don't think he will be, which sucks. Yeah, well, he, they're not there. Yeah, he is. Look, there you go. Um, yeah. So I like that they put balance in it. So like how you can kill it in one hit, but it takes ages to shoot him with a pistol, and it, it they can kill you in less than like ten shots. It's kind of balanced, but it's kind of not at the same time. Still think the graphics are pretty amazing before the year it came out. It's better than Alien Colonial Marines, and that came out last year, which was awful. The graphics were awful. The game was awful, and it was just awful. The latest reinstallment of Aliens is amazing, so you should get that. Also, like I said, um, yeah, I mean, um, if I actually do te games technology at U U uni, I might actually create an indie game or actually go on to create games and hopefully be in this game franchise. So, this is um, at stalemate here. I've got one elite behind me and one elite in front of me. So I don't know what to do. So I take him out first. And then I realise that he's behind me. So I hide here. And then um, I take the grunt out. And then try and take the elite out. But it's really annoying because I think I die here. And that's because of my not hiding in cover enough. And the other good thing about Halo is the weapons. The weapons are amazing. Or maybe not. Oh, I might survive. It's like the first time I ever survived something. Yeah, but the Halo the Halo weapons are like one of the best ever created sci-fi weapons. I think, anyway. Because the assault rifle... Yeah, I died there. I died there. Um, oh wait, no I didn't. No, I got to the next bit, but it skipped. I don't know what happened there. It just skipped my thing because it like faultied with the recording and then just skipped it. So I got pretty annoyed there. So just to let you know, that's what happened. Um, yeah, I died. This this bit I get stuck on a while. It's like yeah, the here's the. Where the heck am I? Right, I don't even know what's happening here. I'm confused. But it skipped a whole lot out. And now... Oh yeah. So downstairs from here. There's where I was... Um, killing those elites. And then... I thought I died, but I didn't. And this bit is... Um, the bit where I go down that tunnel. And you see me come out. Yeah, I just tried to take on that elite. That's one of the stronger elites. And it, it really annoys me. I don't, know, I don't know why I'm spawning here again. 
Hmm. So this bit of the um, clip was kind of um, weird, so I'm sorry about that. I don't know what happened, but even though, even still, I can carry on talking. Uh, yeah, it's coming. No, it's not. It's not coming to the end. Okay, it's coming. Just keep on talking, and you have to hear my lovely voice more and more. So, enjoy. I think that this. I think that this Halo is one of the best Halos they've ever made. The ending for Halo Three is the best ending they've ever done, and the campaign for this one is the best one they've ever done. And you see, look, see there, that, that little detail where you just like move the gun, it's just amazing. I don't know why I'm stuck here for like ages, but hey ho. What am I even doing? Was I just like blanked out there or something? Anyway, the campaign for this is just the best because I, was, I can't remember the ending now. Yes, I can. You drive. You drive. Ah, oh, I see. So, Halo 3 and Halo 1, you both get into Warthogs to get off. Ah, oh, the ending might be better for Halo 1, I think. In my opinion. I think. I'm, I'm not sure. I have, to, I have to play through this again. Because it was two years ago last time I played it. So, I didn't really like pay attention that much. And didn't have a game capture card, so I couldn't capture it. And, yeah. So, this is why... I'm playing it again and recording it for you guys. I hope you guys are all enjoying, because I certainly did enjoy playing this first mission again. It was just nostalgia, really. I, I never played the original, but it was cool to see the actual like original when you flicked through. So, this is my pot shot of the first mission. I die so many times, as you probably saw. So, at the next mission, I actually become more careful. So, that's why you won't see me dying as much, and it might be a bit shorter than this one. I can't remember exactly what the second mission is again, because. Um, I can't remember. Uh, oh, yeah, that's the one where you go to the. Um, into the building with the warthog and stuff. Yeah, okay, I remember that. Um. So, second mission, okay, I think I like that one the best, I'm not sure, I, no, the library was the best, the, the flood, the flood in the library, that, that, that was the best mission, it was like a new enemy, they introduced it so well, and it was just so fun killing all the flood, and then it was so frustrating when the flood killed you, because trust me, the flood killed you a heck of a lot more than you killed the flood but hopefully this time it won't and guilty sparks in this as well yeah you see guilty spark in this which will be interesting because i know the i won't i won't give it away i know what happens in the third halo but oh well um as you saw it, it, it this one marked up quite a lot so in that bit i died so i went back to the checkpoint so that's why I just flashed back. It wasn't that, like, I did anything. It was just that it flashed back because I died, which kind of sucked. And I really didn't want that to happen, but it did. So, hey-ho. I still got a bit of this mission. This was probably the longest one I did. Because I did this so many times. Yeah, see? I tried to hit him so many times, I missed him. It's really annoying. And then I, I get really um, bad with missing all of the elites and everything and just chucking out grenades for no reason and as you probably saw oh no the elite didn't get away I thought it got away and I was like oh crap I hate this bit but I die here because I walked into that I was like oh it won't kill me why don't I just walk into it that was, that was just the stupidest idea ever so there you go it was me actually getting back on target again. This time. No, 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 he died. He died. He died by the door. I, re I remember that now. Yeah. yeah. I think I might have already happened or it's going to happen. Where the elite dies. And then the other one runs away. Which sucks. Because 
they do this when they just like have me out in the open because I'm trying to kill Grant so he's kill me like I'm cannon fodder it's really annoying um, I didn't see him die in that bit but I think he did so yeah he did yeah there you go he's dead so oh well won't be saying to him, hello to him later right I'm gonna try and Oh, I just can't do this. It's, it frustrates me how bad I was at this bit. It just really frustrates me because I wasn't that bad at Halo. And then, because I haven't played it for like a year, it's just got really bad. And look, that was just so funny when the a Marine just like flew. And he took air as well. He literally flew through the air. That That's how cool it was. He flew. Well, yeah, but like. It's not. It's just uh, so many funny things can happen in Halo. It's like flying mongooses, flying warthogs, flying elites, flying flying everything really. Even scorpions can go flying. Not not by you making them, but like by glitches or like grenades exploding too many times. Which can be pretty funny when you like have a whole lot of grenades on the floor. And it explodes like a line of grenades. I've had that happen before. Where I've been somewhere. Uh, died because I was too close. I was just, like looking at it. I've, I've been somewhere where I was through a grenade. Hit, hit a uh, elite. Stuck to it. And then it. There was a whole line of grenades. That it then blew up. And it was like a, like a trail. And then it connected to me. And I was like what? So like exploding in tangent, in sync with each other, it was just like bang, 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 bang. And then I saw the one next to me and I was like, oh, great. And I exploded. It might actually be in the first video, to be quite honest. I think I remember it in this first video. I couldn't remember if it was in this Halo or any others, but I think it was in this first video. Because it had happened recently. It's happened loads of times, to be quite honest because it's so annoying when it happens but it does happen a lot so that's what you get as you can see I'm really stuck on this mission it took me forever literally forever to do it and it, no holding back whatsoever trust me it's just tormenting me oh, hated it so much because like, it was all the elites. It was the elites I died by. The hand of the elites. And it was when I was like bending around corners as well. Trying to hide and stuff. So it wasn't even like how I'm trying to... I don't know how to say it. How, like how, how I was trying to get them out. Hiding in the open. Hiding in cover and then trying to kill them. It was when I was bending around corners. And they put, took a pot shot. And just shot me in the head and killed me. Which sucked. This might be where I complete it. I can't remember. Maybe not, because he actually, yeah, see. He came towards me. I got really close there. That was the last elite, and then there was another wave of elites around the corner, but they're actually easy to kill. So I don't know why I did that. Just YOLO. Just charge into an elite with a stuck grenade, and who's about to punch me in the face. As you can see, like, um, Look, 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 that's that's it. That's what happened. They all blew up and then it came back to me and then it just blew me up as well. It was really annoying. Don't know how I missed that. That was actually pretty good dodging skills from me or the elite to actually go round the elite and just like curved it round it. I can't remember. It didn't actually look like I killed him there. So I, watching it back, it was just like, well, I haven't finished the job. But I actually killed him surprisingly. I don't kill many stuff with the assault rifle because I don't like it that much. I mean, I love the aesthetics and the sound of it. It's really good and it's like rebuilt perfectly from the first one, but even better and crisper. But I just don't use it that much because, as you can see, I prefer the pistol. Magnum's one of the best pistols. All of my games, to be quite honest. So, 
if I use the pistol. Um, no other reason, just because a bit like my FIFA players. But anyway, from Vision 6 I stay in, which is really good. So, today I'm going to try and get three videos up, which is this video, my FIFA montage video, and my setup video, which is going to be a lot of videos and a lot of time, about an hour probably, or more than an hour probably, because it's, it's, it's a long videos to be quite honest. If I die here, this might annoy me like to hell, because I was so close to killing it, and then, yeah, no, that's just stupid. There you go, that was stupid. I had no health and I just decided to charge. I was getting so frustrated at this point, it was like, it was like a screaming little child, it was so funny. But it was me. So, oh, it's just so funny. I'm probably going to change my videos quite often. So, like, the thumbnail will probably change in my videos. It won't be all the same. I mean, I'll probably change this one to the, a different thumbnail that looks better and more aesthetically pleasing. So, the first one with the big one, I didn't really like. So, I'm going to change that. FIFA montage one, I might have to change that because it's not working at all, which sucks. So, this is me hiding behind the shield thinking it was actually going to work. Which it did, so. When do you think it might actually come true? But I don't know if I die. I might die. Yeah, I think I die. Because he gets, he gets, yeah, there you go. He gets shots on me. And I hide there too long. So, anyway. The videos should be up by today. If they're not, they'll be up. No, they will, no, no, I can't promise anything, to be quite honest. My schedule changes all the time. I'm very busy with homework, which sucks. I can't wait to actually like get onto the Halo 4, though. Because, to be quite honest, I love the graphics in Halo 4, and they're spectacular. And that's all I wanted to see, like the new grunts and the new elites. But everything else was just pretty boring. The new the new enemies were like brought in well. Yeah. It happened again. When it lined up grenades and it blew me up again. That's why it snapped to that bit, because I died again. So that was me dying. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, no, not being funny, the Halo 4 campaign wasn't as good as any of the others. I really didn't have much fun with it at all. I, I just went through it easily. I mean, like I said, it was four days, and all the others had been like weeks or two weeks, and it, it, was, it was actually pretty hard. Don't even know what happened there. I think it was my own grenade that rebounded off the barrier, which is really annoying me. But anyways, Halo 2. I can't wait to actually play that one. That's going to be next, so that will be the closest one, hopefully. Well, it will be. So that will be next. So I'm looking forward to that one because that one's going to be first time playing Halo 2, and it's going to be remastered. So that's going to be good. Um, Halo 4. I can wait, but the graphics I want to see again, so I guess I can wait, I just want to see graphics. Halo 3, that will be a fun campaign again, because when I played it the first time, it was just, oh, it's one of the best campaigns. Until I played Halo 1, and decided that Halo 1 was the best campaign, as you probably know, as I said it was, in this video, actually, to be quite honest to be honest. It's coming up to a cutscene. As you if you've watched played Halo, it's actually come up to a cutscene where I get off the ship. So I'm actually gonna leave you here and I'll talk to you guys next time. Um hope you enjoyed this video and goodbye. Um in a minute. Yeah, goodbye. Oh, no. Oh, no.
Now would be a very good time to leave. Punch it. Ah, sir. We're disengaged, going for minimum safe distance. We're gonna make it, aren't we, sir? I don't want to die out here. Look. And I didn't realise how long the cutscene was. It's actually pretty long. So I'm going to just talk for a little bit. Whilst I say, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Because I love to bring new videos out for you guys. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm off now. Have a good day. And goodbye. We're coming in too fast. <laughs> Chief? Chief, can you hear me? At last. Are you all right? Can you move? The others, 